I'm just revealing all of my insecurities in one video. Hello friends, so I have been putting off filming this uh, since we went to Primark, since I last filmed a Primark shot with me. I got a couple of bits, I got a couple of things from Boots on the Way home and I wanted to share with you and the thing that's been putting me off, I've been like, I don't know, I don't know, I was just kind of, every time I thought, oh I'll film that video, there's the block of um, I've got to do my hair and my makeup and whatever in order to actually sit down and film the video and for the first and possibly only time in my life I thought to myself if Pamela Anderson can do it so here we are makeup free I mean I'm makeup free every day in vlogs so it's not that much different but it does feel strange to film um, a sit down video sans anything on my face um, so I've got a few bits that I wanted to show you probably for the best as well because some of it is clothing that would go over my face and I don't want to get anything on it. I've got two jumpers. I'm really not sure about these. I think I took, I think I've got the tag actually in here and I've got the receipt. So maybe I can still return it. It was 16 pounds and I feel like that's enough to be like, if I'm not gonna wear it, do you know what I mean? So the first one I got was this. I showed you in the um, shop with me. In theory, I love this. I think the main problem is it's so short because I love the chunkiness of it. It is a little bit itchy. To put it against my skin, it is a little bit itchy, but I love the chunkiness of it, the colour, everything. I think it's really nice. It doesn't look like Primark. It looks like a, a more expensive thing. Um, so in theory, yes, but let me show you when I actually put it on. I think it's partially just like my body shape and what I don't like. The whole thing makes me look so boxy. I'm an apple, so I'm basically like really, not really, just, you know, put this in perspective. In in proportions, I'm, lo I'm like wider on top, slimmer on bottom. And so this makes me look even wider on top. I also have like a bit of a thing about this because it makes my face look... I'm just revealing all of my insecurities in one video. Um, but I don't love the way this looks already. But if it was longer, I think I could deal with it because it's kind of like a, a slouchy, oversized look. I think I would kind of be okay with it. But because it's short, then it just really cuts me off and it's like, you know? It's not for me, is it? It's not for me. It's not for my shape. I don't love it. I mean, if you love it, great but I just don't think it does anything for me. So, I'll give you a comparison. This is the other one that I bought. I've already got this in green though, to be fair. I already knew I was gonna like this because I had it in green. I think we're going back. God, I'm, I'm out of breath just trying on clothes. What does that say about my fitness levels? Nothing good. I think we're gonna go back this weekend, so I may try and return that, we'll see. Um, Cause I just, I don't know, am I ever gonna wear it is the problem. I think probably not. This is much more, my speed. Um, so it is longer. To be fair, I think I could have done this shorter. Also, I've seen people do this thing where they like, they button up uh, a cardigan like this so that it's short. Like they button up the bottom part into this part. Have you seen what I'm talking about? Like they'll do the bottom button like into the top button and then it's like this short. How? How? I need to Google it and watch it while I'm trying to do it because I've tried a couple of times and I can't make it work. I can't understand it at all. So this is much more, it like gives me space here so it doesn't just make it like all a box of material. This is so much more for me. Would we both agree? Yes, I think we would. I love this. I think it looks really cute as a top like this. I think it's nice like as a little cardigan. Um, like I say, I do have this in like a khaki colour and I wear it all the time when I go into the office, which is not all the time, truthfully. Um, but this is definitely more. This is more me. This was like a guaranteed love. A um, couple more things that I got from Primark, only a couple more things. I felt like I'd got more and maybe I did. And it's been so long I've taken things out of here. It's every possibility. In fact, I may use these today. Uh, this is the Niacinamide Cheat Mask. Everybody knows, if you know me at all, I'm obsessed with the original serum. I have it around, I put it on this morning. I have it around here somewhere. It's here. When I couldn't get it anywhere, um, quite a few of you very kindly offered to send me some, and a couple of you actually did. So, 
Um, I have plenty of it, I don't need any more, but I don't see it very often in store, and that's why I ended up buying these. Um, there's something about the niacinamide from Primark. I did a whole, I think I did a blog post. I was trying to get back into blogging at the beginning of this year, but now I'm like, was it the beginning of this year or was it last year? This year's gone so fast, it, I feel like it has to have been last year. I don't know, I honestly don't know. But I was really into a niacinamide serum that I'd been sent from, I'm gonna say a then. It was really fancy and very, very nice. Uh, but I tried that, I tried this one from Primark and I tried um, one from The Ordinary. And the Primark one was my favorite one. It wasn't drying. It um, definitely helped with, because at the time I was, it was, it was this year. It was totally this year because I was having trouble with Brandon breakouts, which again, I'm having that again on my chest. That was a thing when I was a kid. I had acne on my chest, my back, my arms. And it's kind of having a situation at the moment, little breakouts. Um, but I was having breakouts on my face. Worse acne than I ever had as a, a teenager. It was all down to some antidepressants I was taking. That's by the by. The niacinamide from Primark was the best of all three when I was trying to uh, combat that. And it wasn't drying. It was kind of getting rid of oil. It was um, kind of getting rid of redness and balancing everything, reducing the breakouts that I was having without drying. Whereas the, I think the, the one from The Ordinary was the very worst for how drying it was. And um, the other one, which honestly, I can't even remember... How can I not remember the name? I've got something in it. Ah, it was Vichy, because I've got the eyes one in here. It was the Vichy Mineral 89 range that looks like this. Don't get me wrong, really nice. It felt like a luxury product. It felt, um, it felt a lot nicer to use than the Primark one. But if you're looking just at ingredients and what it does, that's, the Primark one was doing what I wanted it to do, you know? Um, at the moment, I'm trying something very fancy from Lancome. Honestly, I can't tell you that it's doing anything absolutely incredible. But often I feel like if you're not a target audience, like if you haven't got um, something that's, you know, like if, you're, if your fine lines aren't enough to really see a significant improvement, or if your dryness isn't enough, or if your acne isn't bad enough, that kind of stuff. If you try the product that is aimed at that, it's not gonna do as much for you as it would be for someone with like a more severe version of the thing that you're trying to combat. I hate to say that about fine lines, but in skincare marketing, that's what I'm talking about. Um, so the, the Lancome thing I'm using at the moment, really nice, but I couldn't recommend it because it feels nice to apply. Yeah, okay, my skin kind of seems more hydrated. Not more than something that I'd be using that's a lot less expensive, you know? Man, that was a tangent. So the niacinamide, really, really like this. I like to have one in my fridge at all times. I bought three. I've left one in the bag just to show you, uh, but I did buy three. And the other ones have been used. My friend Emma, it's M channel um, here on YouTube. She uh, loved it. I gave her, this was last Christmas. Oh my God, it feels like yesterday. This was last Christmas. I gave her a full facial with like um, a cleansing brush thing, the niacinamide mask, and I used the, hang on, I've got the bigger version. I used the New Face. If you've never used this before, it's magical. FYI, full disclosure, I bought the small one of these and they very recently sent me the big one and I don't know why, but I haven't used it yet. I'm really excited to, but I just haven't sat down to play with it. I love this thing. It's very, very temporary, the results from these things. Um, they also sent me, I can't get it there. How cute is that? They also sent me this while we're on, while we're on the tangent. I already have the proper, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna kill myself in this thing. Um, I already had the full mask of this. This is from Current Body. And they sent me this that makes me feel like a superhero. This is the coolest thing you've ever saw. And it's only three minutes it takes. Whereas the full mask thing takes like 10 minutes. And it's a bit of a pain because I've got to hold it up to my face. Um, but the, the, this is, this is something else. This has been so easy to just, as soon as I come in my office, I see it, I put it on. While I'm pottering around, I'm getting things, I'm like doing whatever I'm doing. Three minutes, it's no time at all. It's so, so easy. This was not an intentional plug for current body, but hashtag, hashtag gifted. 
FYI. I haven't even done anything to like uh, put any content together for any of these devices yet because I haven't had them for anywhere near long enough. Uh, but I will. It's just so fun. It's just so fun. I also have like a little cubby here now of like electronic things, which it just gives me joy. At some point, I might do a little, do you know what? I might do that this week. A little kind of tour of my office now because I've had a bit of a rejig, a bit of a tidy around, arrange things in a different way. I might give you kind of a, here's what my makeup collection looks like now. And here's the room that I work from. It's my um, office space. That's actually where I work, work from my, my day job. It's where I do my editing. It's where I film my videos. It's where I keep my clothes. And it's where I keep all of my makeup. It's like become this one all encompassing room. So maybe you'd be interested in that. Let me know. On a similar topic, um, I got this, which I'm really excited about. And I completely forgot because it's been in that bag for so long. I, I found this and um, again, my friend Emma, funnily enough, she's coming up again. Uh, she bought me, do I have it here? I think I do. These, these are fantastic. Now I wanna keep them upstairs because this is where I would do my skincare and my makeup and stuff, but really they could do with being in a fridge. And I'm just not quite at the point where I wanna buy like a skincare fridge. It seems a bit much for me. Um, so what I was doing was I was putting these in the drawer and I was bringing up when I was doing my 5am mornings, which I, I occasionally try to be that person. Um, I was bringing up a cold glass of water. I tend to do the 5am's in winter. I don't know why that is because I'm kind of getting the, the the vibe again. that I'm like, maybe I need to reset my routine. Um, and I would bring up a cold glass of water. The reason that it makes me think that it, winter was my uh, water from the tap is ice cold in winter. It's the real main benefit of it being so cold outside is like ice, ice cold outside, ice, ice cold from the tap. So I would bring up some tap water and I would leave these in that cup while I was doing something else. And then, oh, this is proving my point for a second. Nearly smashed that. Then I would uh, put on like a facial oil or something and I would just glide these around my eyes. It's a really nice sensation, even just out of the drawer to be fair, they are really cold. Also nice for a headache. It's just like, ooh, <laughs> just a nice facial massage. I got really into gua sha stone massage, um, end of last year, beginning of this year. And uh, she knew this would be the kind of thing that I would be interested in, which I absolutely am. Love it in theory. Haven't used it that much because maybe because it's been warm, I need to put them somewhere to be cold and it's not convenient. And this is partially, when I found this, I was like, oh, I really wanna try this, but it's the same deal. It's got like those little bubbles inside where you would put something in the freezer and leave it in the freezer. So I will leave this in the freezer and then I can like ice roll my face. Now, oh, that feels really nice. Imagine like a jade roller, massive and cold. So this is gonna be really nice to like wake up my skin in the morning. And also it feels like I'm not gonna break it because obviously it's not made of glass. And I can just throw these in the freezer, whereas those I obviously couldn't. I'd have to be a bit more careful. I wouldn't wanna put them in the fridge. I've got kids, we live with people. We live with small people. Um, they're not even that small, but that's probably part of the problem. This, even without it being cold, feels really good. Just as a roller but it's a face, face and body roller, which is why it's larger. And I'm excited to use it, but I suspect it might be a similar situation. The only difference with this is because it's not breakable, I can just throw it in the freezer. But whether or not, I know if it's something, if there's, if there's any kind of barrier between me and doing the thing, I won't do it. So, I will let you know if I ever use this. I did also buy a couple of beauty things. I bought, did you notice I have my nails painted? Oh, I just got a little bit of chipping. I was about to say, I'm so impressed with how they haven't chipped. It's been five or six days, which is crazy. So I've got Rimmel nail polish on. It is Rimmel Super Gel in Venus. I bought this from Tesco the other day. Specifically went like, right, I want a really dark red. I think I want a darker red than this. I'm dipping my fingertips, I'm dipping my toe, back into the world of nail polish. I used to be obsessed. I would buy 
the full collection of China Glaze from Nail Polish Direct every time it came out. I had like so many posts on my blog talking about all the different nail polishes. Loved nail polish. My issue with nails is that, again, it was another barrier between me and filming. If I didn't have, it's not if I didn't have my nails polished, although sometimes, um, it was mostly if they were chipped, that I'd feel like, oh, well, I've got to like, take off my nail polish, redo my nail polish. It's like a whole thing before I can now film. Um, and I still would feel that way. If I had like a big chip in my nail polish, I'd be like, mm, I don't really want to like hold things up and show you with chip nails. This is something that was instilled upon me uh, by uh, a family member who is no longer in my life. But I do think she did have some good beauty wisdom. That was just something that one day she told me, you should never have chip nail polish. And it was like, that will be with me forever. But on top of the, the Rimmel nail polish, I have uh, my China Glaze. No, I don't. It's not China Glaze. Sesh Feet. The Sesh Feet. Um, Top coat, which is the only top coat. Since I've had this, I have never bought another top coat. I always have at least two bottles of this, even though for the past two or three years, I've only done my um, pedicures. I've only done my feet. I've had my nails done um, with acrylics or builder gel or whatever else. When I started doing the concrete and candling, the, the mess, the, the issues that I was having was with the dyes and the powders and the concrete that I was, because I don't use gloves, I'm not, I don't do anything that I'm supposed to do. Um, it was getting underneath, so it was getting between my nail and the layer of whatever it was my nail tech had put on, gel, acrylic, whatever. Um, and then it was just leaving it, it was looking really, really ugly and horrible. And I made a couple of batches over the weekend and my nails were like covered in all of this stuff. Like really, I had to scrub and scrub and scrub just why I'm so impressed that they're relatively still intact. And I didn't have the same problem because it's just nail polish on top of my actual nail. So I've been kind of back in the, in the back of my mind, I'm like, will I be able to go back to having my nails done regularly? I don't know, while I'm doing this, while we've got this business, which is like making candles, wax melts and concrete decor stuff, um, I don't know whether or not it's doable, but I do want to kind of reintroduce nail polish. I don't know. I, I enjoyed that time that I had, so five minutes later, I bought this nail polish and I'm happy with it. Um, I also bought a uh, repeat. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. I talked about this in that Primark video. I said I was specifically going looking for this and I found it. And I was also looking for a facial oil. Now I bought this one, I think I mentioned it in that video, um, because I just couldn't find any that I thought were a decent price. This was this is the Boots Rose Facial Oil. Haven't used it since then because again, it's been sitting in this bag. But I just don't feel like a facial oil, unless it's something that you're using, because I want it for massage, unless it's something that you're using as part of your skincare. I want a facial oil that I can just be liberal with. Just throw it on and then I can do like my gua sha, I can do my like whatever massage. If I'm feeling like doing it, I don't do it every day. It's sometimes when I've got a headache, sometimes it's because like, oh, I'm just feeling like I want a bit of a, a lift because it does make a big difference in how my skin looks and how firm my skin is, um, how lifted my face looks when I use my gua sha and facial massage before we even get into like micro current devices because that's like a whole different ball game. Um, and so I bought this, I will let you know how I like it, if I like it. But the reason I bought this in the end was because it was the cheapest. If anyone can recommend a good, even if it's not facial specific, I'm not um, acne prone. I don't tend to be acne prone. So it, I don't have to worry too much about that. I probably could put olive oil on my face. Let me know, what do you use on your skin if you're like a facial massage type person? Because really I just want like um, a basic carrier oil, like a, a massage oil, but like that maybe is more facial appropriate. Um, I think the last thing is this. I got um, some Batiste dry shampoo in self-love. Self-love sounds like something you do completely alone. <laughs> it does. Self-love? Self-love. I don't know. It sounds like something maybe we don't want on the front of a Batiste. This was in sale, so I wonder if that's maybe for a reason. Um, I always buy Batiste in sale. I used to be 100% only tropical. It's the only one that I would wear. 
uh, or using my hair. And then one day, this was, God, this was before Milo was born. But it's, see, these things stick with you. You know, when you talk to people and you say things, they're going to remember the things that you say longer than you think. Um, someone in my office was like, oh, I can smell coconuts. Like, has someone got, like, they weren't saying it was a bad smell, but they were like, um, has someone got, like, a coconut perfume on it? I was like, that's a nice smell, you know, what is it? And I'm sitting there, like, wanting the world to open up because I'm thinking, I don't want to tell someone. This is, maybe it would be different now because everyone would be, and definitely much just in myself, this is probably 12 years ago, I now would just be like, it's my dry shampoo. But 12 years ago, I maybe felt a little bit more embarrassed by like, I'm wearing so much dry shampoo, you can smell it from across the room. Maybe that's what it is. So I tend not to buy that one now. And now I just buy whatever is on sale. And these all smell perfume slash body spray-ish. So I feel like it's a little bit less obvious that I'm wearing dry shampoo. Anyway, I'm gonna put this back in the bag along with this and hope that they will return this. I think they will. Oh, by the way, the size was a 12 to 14. I don't think, I don't think a smaller size would have been better. 12 to 14 slash medium. I don't think a smaller size would have been better. I think it was because it was cropped. Otherwise, I really liked it. The quality felt really nice. Um, we're going back this weekend, like I say, so I'll do another little spin around shop with me. And um, a couple of people have sent me reels and things that people have posted because it's really nice. Um, oh, word. It's really nice sleepwear, nightwear at the moment. So I might have another haul for you coming soon. Especially after the last video I made where I was like, we need to be careful about influencing people. And I don't want to be influencing people to spend money that they don't have. Here I am. Back at it again. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I will see you guys uh, in the next few days, if not on Friday with another Friday Faves and Fails. And yeah, have a great week. Bye.